Rocks, rocks, rocks. They're everywhere. Coming over us, taking our jobs, stealing our benefits. But really, we shouldn't be too hard on them. Now, we all know there are only two types of rocks, black and grey, right? Wrong. There are a huge amount. You've got sandstone, limestone, basalt, granite, quartzite, dolerite, gypsum, marble, pyrite, gneiss, schist, and loads more that we don't really need to know about. And all of these rocks are categorised into one of three types of rocks. Sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. And today we're going to talk about... Drum roll, please. Metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are strange. They're also rather indecisive. They just can't seem to decide what the hell they are. Metamorphic rock starts off life as one of the other categories of rock, either sedimentary or igneous, or black or grey. But when they're exposed to extreme heat, extreme pressure, or extreme sports, everything changes. Their colour, their hardness, their hair, their makeup, chemical or otherwise, they become a whole new rock. A whole new rock. Limestone turns from its boring self into marble. Sandstone turns from a crusty brown lump into sparkly white quartzite and so on. Now here's where it gets more complicated. There are different types of metamorphism in rocks. These are thermal, dynamic and regional. Thermal metamorphism is when a rock is changed by intense heat only. Examples of this would be quartzite, which is formed from sandstone, and marble, which is formed from limestone under great heat. This happens naturally in Errigal, Sugarloaf and Cropatic for quartzite, and all over Ireland for marble. You can find green marble in Connemara, black in Kilkenny, white in Rathlin Islands in Northern Ireland, and red in Cork, like Marcus's ginger hair. I like to think it's honey coloured. Fun fact! The purest of all marble, which is white, is found in Carrera, Italy. Dynamic metamorphism is caused by pressure only, unlike thermal metamorphism. Generally it is caused by the movement of tectonic plates. Constant pressure on rocks causes them to be compressed into much harder and more durable rocks. At fault lines, intense pressure builds up and rocks are ground into a fine sticky powder called fault gouge. Slate, which once upon a time happened to be shale, was put under intense pressure. The rock then hardened and it became purple-blue in colour. As well as this, it has foliated layers and its main purpose in life is to be a roof. You can find said slate in Valencia Island, County Kerry. Regional metamorphism, yet another type of metamorphism, happens over a large area of land, like thousands of square kilometres. Regional metamorphism is a combination of heat and pressure. Regionally metamorphosed rocks can be found in the northwest of our fine republic and in Caledonia. Over 400 million years, the original rocks were deformed and pushed deep into the Earth's crust. It was then heated up to over 1,000 degrees Celsius. The most common rocks are schist and gneiss. However, it is hard to tell schist from its parent rock. Schist is found in Lugnaquilla, County Wicklow, and was once shale. Gneiss, which was originally granite, changed under great heat and pressure, and is found in Belmullet in County Mayo. Overall, there are many different changes that occur in a wide variety of rocks through dynamic, regional and thermal metamorphism. So, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.